happy Thursday guys and welcome to day 8 of my 31 day challenge in August. If you guys aren't familiar with the challenge yet, I'll have my links down below for the kickoff video, also the playlist if you want to catch up on any of the past videos. All that will be in my description box, but basically I'm doing a 31 day challenge in August and it's all about creating a life we love, being our best selves, positivity, all that great stuff. Uh, I'll have the link to my March merch linked down below as well uh, if there's any apparel or mugs or anything that kind of relates to this challenge that you'd be interested in. Uh, but we are over a week now into this challenge and I've been having so much fun with it. Again, just a huge thank you guys to who are participating and commenting and sending me messages, posting on Instagram and Twitter and all of this. Like it's gone so much better than I could have expected. I can remember fil filming the challenge video for, I think it was day three of the challenge, day three or four, but it hadn't even started yet. I was just filming in advance. And I remember saying like, I don't know if anyone's gonna wanna do this, but I'm just gonna like try to think positive vibes and hopefully people are wanting to, you know, partake in this and people are, which is just so, just so very exciting to me, so thank you guys. So I do have a calendar because I've given a little task or a little daily goal each day throughout the month of August. I did create a calendar, so if you're interested in having that so you can see everything ahead of time, uh, I will go ahead and have also the link to that in my description box, but we are on day eight, it is Thursday, and today's uh, daily goal that I have is delete one bad habit. So I've been saying that I, I decided to take this challenge public, I did it myself, in July and I created my little calendar, I created my goals, I created my daily tasks of what I wanted to work on. And uh, actually when I was creating that calendar, something that I did look up is um, kind of so something similar to this. I was trying to get more ideas for my July calendar of what I could do. So I was Googling like ways to better yourself, like ways to, um, you know, bring more positivity into your life. Like I was trying to like Google a bunch of different things to get different ideas. And I kept seeing this one pop up and I kind of stopped and looked at it and tried to focus on it uh, because I, I kind of was stuck at this one for a little bit. Which sounds really bad because I'm not trying to say that I don't have bad habits because for sure I do. But I just wasn't, I, for whatever reason, this one just made me a little bit unsure. But I thought about it, um, I tried it out for July, and I decided to do it again because one thing that I've mentioned in a few of my past challenge videos is that I really believe that we can get into a habit. Uh, one thing with uh, one of the challenges the other day was to wake up early right, maybe just 30 minutes early, an hour early, or you know, something like that, and I talked about how it makes me feel more productive, more motivated, but one thing that I thought was interesting um, when I had a conversation with my husband about this is Mitch used to live an hour and a half away from where he worked. We just moved to a new town, which is where his new job is, but it took us over a year to find a new house here and to actually move in, sell our house, and all of that. So for over a year, I think it was like 14 months, he was driving an hour and a half every single day to go to work. And so obviously he would have to wake up a lot earlier to drive to work. And when we moved, he said something to me like, oh, I'm gonna keep waking up early, like maybe not quite as early, but I'm still, I'm gonna wake up early and I'm gonna go for a run in the morning. I'm gonna, you know, take Aries outside. I'm gonna do all these different things and da da da. And then we moved and it was like, you know, the first week it's like, okay, well we just moved. So, you know, I can sleep in and then go to work and it's fine. And the second week it's like, well, that work week was really hard. So I'll sleep in again. And he's gotten back into a habit of, you know, sleeping in a little bit later. And he's, he was talking to me about it when we talked about this challenge. And he was like, I don't understand. Like I used to wake up two hours earlier, you know, every single day and I had no problem doing it. And now I can't even wake up half an hour earlier. And I was like, you have to get back into the habit of doing that. Um, once we start to create these habits, it can really, you can notice a change in yourself. So that was one thing I was trying to talk to him about because I knew that he was getting frustrated by it. Like we've been here for two months now. Um, and so he was getting, you know, frustrated that he wasn't waking up earlier and he wasn't getting enough done and all of that so we had that conversation so I thought that I would bring that to this video to really talk about habits um, so again that's kind of like what I was trying to focus this video on and so when I was thinking about you know what are some of my bad habits or um, you know, maybe you don't even have to look at it because like, of course, what I've been trying to say, make this really individual to you. No, every day might not speak to you, like especially with like waking up early. Maybe you already do. Maybe you have a newborn. Maybe you have a job that, you know, requires, you know, um, non-traditional hours or, you know, something like that. 
make this challenge really focused on you individually, but maybe it's trying to incorporate a, a good habit, a better habit into your routine. Maybe you could look at it that way. Um, so that's just kind of the gist for today's video is trying to develop good or better habits and perhaps deleting some bad ones from our lives because once you settle into that and make it into a habit, you can really notice a difference. And that's what I noticed too with the challenge and even why I did it in July and why I decided to do it in August too. I had gotten into a habit of focusing on myself every single day, even if it was just for two minutes, you know, five minutes, every single day I was taking time to do something for myself, whether it's something that made me happier, something that made me more, more motivated, something that played into my work. I made it a habit to have a part of every single one of my days to be focused on me and bettering myself and making myself happy. I got into the habit of that. That's why I wanted to do it in August. That's why I will do it in September. Uh, because, you know, prior to this, you know, I would tell myself, I'd give myself little goals, like I'll do this this month or that this month, and then you don't work on it or you push it off. But when you really write down those goals, when you do make, you know, even something as this calendar, which is a little bit extra, it helps get you into the habit of this. I hope no one is playing a drinking game as I'm saying the word habit. That would be very bad. Uh, but uh, so of course with all of these videos I try to give a little bit of you know insight on me or like why I chose it or what I'm doing with the challenge too because I'm seriously I'm doing it right along with you guys. Me and Mitch woke up early the day that we had it on the calendar to wake up early. Um, all three of us in the house including Aries we were awake early and getting some tasks done which was which was awesome to do because Mitch has been taking the challenge on with me, which has been really great and really supportive of him, which is awesome. Uh, but I was thinking, one thing I've got into the habit of doing that I'm not very impressed with myself <laughs> is getting a coffee in the morning. I used to not really be a coffee drinker at all. Like my friends, they're, oh, we're going to go get Starbucks this morning. And I'm like, okay, Starbucks. And I just didn't like the taste of coffee. I wasn't into it. I didn't want, I didn't understand spending four, five, six dollars on a cup of coffee. I was like, I don't understand. And somehow throughout the years, I've seemed to develop a taste for it. I started to get like one dollar coffees at a gas station. I had a friend recommend them to me one time. They're like, oh, try this one. And it doesn't really taste like coffee, but it gives you some like energy and caffeine that way. And I was like, okay. And then I got hooked on them and it literally they were like 99 cents or something. I was like, this isn't even bad for me you know. So I started to drink those and I have slowly transitioned into Starbucks. I have the Starbucks app. I mean, I don't know what happened here. And it used to be like, okay, well, if I'm just like running around or running errands, like I can stop and get a coffee. If I wake up earlier that day and I'm feeling tired by, you know, 10 o'clock, like I'll go get a coffee or something like that, you know. And somehow, especially since moving I have gotten into the habit of getting a coffee almost every single day. Then I then it went to, I'm only going to get a coffee on Monday and Friday. It's like Monday to kick off the week, Friday, because it's like, woo, it's Friday. I was like, well, if I have to go to the post office, I'm going to go past it anyway. So I'll just, and seriously, it's almost every single day. I find myself giving me excuses. And one thing I tell myself, because I don't really get out a whole lot, you know, we moved to a smaller town. There's not as many stores I can just run to. My friends aren't here. Um, so sometimes I feel like in my house, I'm in my house so much. So I, I've been telling myself like, oh, well, it's just, I'm just going to go for a car ride and I can just get out of the house for a little bit, go for a car ride. I can take my dog, like no big deal. And then I'll just swing by and get a coffee. And I've been doing it almost every day. So uh, a challenge that I gave myself in July was to do no coffee for a week. And I did it. And by Friday, honestly, you guys, by Friday, I was like, why was I even doing that? Like, that was crazy. Like, I, I didn't feel like a caffeine withdrawal. I didn't feel, I was like, this is good. This is fine. I um, drank more water during that time and I, I felt okay with it. And then, so I did it Monday through Friday. I did it through the weekend too. So through Sunday, the following Monday, I didn't get one. And I remember like brushing my shoulders off because I used to be like, oh, on Mondays, I'll get a... Um, a coffee and whatnot and then um, it was that following week it was a Thursday I drove into Des Moines I drove an hour and a half into Des Moines I did some shopping by myself and by the time I left Des Moines I was like dry my butt was dragging you know I just drove and then I was going into all these different shops oh my goodness um, but I was just running some errands around the around the town and I was like 
think I'm gonna get Starbucks and then it boom it like it picked like it picked back up and then I got back on to getting a coffee almost every single day it wasn't as frequent it wasn't every single day but like every other day for sure and I've fallen back into the habit of that I want to change that because the caffeine you know, it, it's not the best thing for you. It's not the worst thing for you, but it's not the best thing for you. Get expensive, especially when we're talking about Starbucks. Like, if I go to the Casey's gas station and it's only $1.48, that's not so bad. But we're talking like $4.50, $5 sometimes for a Starbucks drink. Like, that's a lot, especially if you do get it every single day. That's a lot of money. Um, it's time. It's taking time away from my work in the morning. And, you know, that one's a little bit dicey because it's like, yeah, I'm getting away from my computer and all of that and getting out of the house. But I I can find better ways to do that. I can take my dog for a walk um, or, you know, something like that. I can, you know, just go work out or, you know, just go to a Walgreens and walk around or something. You know, I don't know. We just don't have many stores here. Like I used to like do my Target runs and whatnot. We don't have Target anymore. But, uh, and also it's not good for your teeth. And I've definitely noticed once I got into that almost daily habit, if not daily habit, that my teeth weren't looking as white. And I don't have super white teeth to begin with, but I started to get really self-conscious about my teeth because coffee can stain your teeth. So um, that is my bad habit that I want to delete. And I'm going to challenge myself again in the month of August, one week, no coffee that's what I'm gonna do so um, that was like my little challenge that I did for myself in July to get me into that habit I'm gonna do it again in August and I'm going to try to be better this time as well to extend it even further past my week and see how I do so I wanted to add in this little story because I've never been very great at like dieting or like cutting foods out or you know certain things out uh, because sometimes I feel like when I cut certain items out it makes me want that more that's just me personally but like I've tried to do like the low sugar I've tried to cut out like ice cream I've tried to ch um, cut out chocolate and all it does is make me want that so much more and then I'm like angry and I'm frustrated and it's like ugh. so I kind of live by the motto of like everything in moderation not everything in moderation but like you know moderation balance and all of that that's kind of how I try to live my life so it's like I'm not saying I'm going to give it up completely or all of that um, but just try to not get in that habit of doing it every single day I've done this also in the past with soda or pop however I say both ways to be honest uh, but I was getting to a point in time where I was drinking a pop every single day if not like two pops a day and again not great for you um, ingredients not always great for you it pop would always make me feel very bloated and it got to where I was like I'll only have a soda if I go out to eat but then Mitch and I were going out to eat literally like three if not like four times a week and then the weekends would come and then we'd be out with friends I'm like I'm just gonna get a pop because I'm out to eat and I finally had to be like okay that's not a good that's not a good thing either like because you go out to eat all the time and one thing I noticed when going out to eat is I would drink a, a full soda before my meal came and then I wouldn't be as hungry because the pop filled me up on like I don't know if I want to say like empty calories but I would just feel full I'd feel almost more bloated and I wouldn't eat as much food and then I'd get hungry quicker because I hadn't eaten as much because I filled myself up with pop you know what I mean and so I I really tried to cut soda out and the first time I did it just a few weeks into it I would get the worst headaches and I didn't know what was going on and I realized I was truly having caffeine withdrawal from the soda um, but I've tried and it's been a struggle over the past three years I'm gonna say my struggle with soda uh, but I have finally gotten it down it, it kind of turned into that cut it out for a week cut it out for two weeks um, and what I do now with soda is I allow myself one a month and that's what I started doing at the beginning of January one soda a month and I did it and I've done it you know one soda a month through June in June I did not have one soda and I was so proud of myself and I remember when June 30th came I was like I haven't had a pop this month like that's amazing and I, in my mind I was like I should go get a pop to celebrate because I can have one in June I was like no no no, no. like you don't need one you're not craving a soda right now like don't do it um, so that's kind of how I've been doing it because I'm not telling myself you can never have this product again because I feel like that would make me want it more I'm just trying to get into better habits and cutting down on certain things that I know aren't as good for me so 
those are just my little stories that I wanted to share for today's video. I'd love if you wanted to share maybe something that you would work on for the school or maybe some good habits that you want to get into the routine of doing. Uh, I'm really looking forward to hearing some of your feedback on today because uh, I feel like it's just going to be so different across the board of what we're working on, um, what we're trying to take out, what we're trying to add in. I just feel like it's going to be so different so I'm really excited to read the comments for today because it might even give me an idea um, for something else too for for myself personally so I'm really looking forward to to your feedback and your comments um, but yeah I hope that you enjoyed those little stories hearing a little something about me and you know something that I, I try to work on and, and challenge myself for so uh, I hope that you guys have been enjoying this thank you so much for supporting the challenge and I will see you in tomorrow's video